Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, three circles that are tangent to each other, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, A, B, and uh, C are their centers. And moreover, the area for this uh, green circle is uh, 400 pi centimeter square. The area for this uh, yellow circle is 900 pi centimeter square. And finally, the area for this uh, blue circle is uh, 2500 pi centimeter square. And furthermore, we got this uh, triangle ABC by connecting uh, these uh, centers A, B, and C. And now we are going to calculate these angles uh, X, this angle Y, and this angle uh, Z. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, green uh, circle and whose area is uh, 400 pi. Let me go ahead and write down the area of this uh, green circle is uh, 400 pi. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, pi r square, where r represents the radius of the circle. So therefore, we can tweak this uh, 400. This could be written as uh, 20 square. So therefore, this area could be written as uh, pi times uh, 20 whole square. And now we can see this uh, 20 is our uh, radius of this green circle. Let me call the radius as lowercase r1 equals to 20 centimeter for this green circle. So therefore the radius for this green circle turns out to be 20 centimeter. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this yellow circle now whose area is 900 pi. So therefore I can write the area of this yellow circle as 900 pi. And once again we are going to tweak this 900. This could be written as 30 whole square. So therefore the area of this yellow circle could be written as pi times 30 whole square. And now we can see that this 30 is the radius of this uh, yellow circle. Let me call the radius for this yellow circle as R2 equals to 30 centimeter. So therefore the radius for this uh, yellow circle uh, turns out to be 30 centimeter. And finally let's focus on this uh, blue circle whose uh, area is 2500 pi. So therefore the area could be written as uh, 2500 pi. And now we are going to tweak this uh, 2500 that could be written as 50 whole square. So therefore, so area could be written as pi times 50 whole square. And we can see that this uh, 50 is our radius. So therefore the radius for this uh, blue circle, I'm going to represent is by R3 equals to 50 centimeter. So thus the radius for this blue circle turns out to be 50 centimeter. So therefore the radius for this green circle is 20 centimeter. As you can see, the radius for this yellow circle is 30 as you can see over here. And finally for blue circle, the radius is 50. And now let's recall one more crucial factor, centers and the point of tangency are collinear. And in our case, uh, these are our points of uh, tangency and uh, these centers and point of tangency, they lie on the very same uh, line. So therefore, this distance uh, AC is going to be 20 plus 30, that is going to give us uh, 50 centimeter. And this distance uh, AB is going to be 30 plus 50 is going to make uh, 80 centimeter and finally this uh, distance uh, BC is going to be the sum of 20 and 50 that is going to give us 70. So the side lengths of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be 50, 80 
and uh, 70. As you can see in this uh, triangle ABC, and we have a vertices A, B, and uh, C. So the side length uh, opposite to this vertex A is going to be lowercase a, and this side is going to be lowercase b since this is a opposite to vertex uh, b. Finally, this side is going to be lowercase uh, c. And now let's recall the law of cosines. We have these three law of uh, cosines. We are going to use this uh, very first one. And here we have uh, this uh, side length uh, a, and the opposite angle is uh, x. So therefore we can write uh, 70 square equals to over here 50 square plus uh, 80 square minus uh, 2 times uh, 50 times uh, 80 times cosine of uh, of uh, this angle x. And here in next step uh, 70 square is same as uh, 4900. 50 square is uh, 2500, 80 square is uh, 6400, and over here 2 times 50 times 80 is going to give us uh, 8000. And here in next step uh, we combine these 2500 plus 6400 that gave us uh, 8900. And now let's subtract 8900 from both sides. This is gone from the right hand side. On the left hand side we got uh, negative 4000 equals to negative 8000 times cosine of x. And now let's divide both sides by negative 8000. This is gone. So therefore our cosine of x turns out to be, this reduces to simply 1 divided by 2. And now this could be written as x equal to cosine inverse of 1 divided by 2. So that means our x value is going to be 60 degrees and that's our angle x. So thus our angle x turns out to be 60 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's recall this uh, law of sines. Sine of alpha divided by a equal to sine of beta divided by b. Now we are going to apply this law on these angles x and y and their opposite sides are this 50 and 70. So therefore we can write sine of x divided by a equal to sine of y divided by b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this one. In our case, our angle X is 60 degrees. So I'm going to write down sine of 60 degrees divided by A is 70 equal to sine of Y divided by B in our case is 50. Now let's multiply both sides by 50 to remove this fraction. So we can see that this 50 and 50 is gone. So and here 0 and 0 is gone as well. So therefore we got this uh, sine of uh, y equals to 5 divided by 7 times uh, sine of uh, 60 degrees. And now we know that uh, sine of uh, 60 is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So I'm going to replace this one by square root of 3 divided by 2. As you can see in this next step, I have replaced this sine of 60 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2. And this whole thing is approximately equal to 0 0.6186. So therefore, we can write uh, y is approximately equal to sine inverse of 0 0.6186. So therefore our y value is going to be approximately equals to 38.2 degrees. So thus our angle y turns out to be approximately equal to 38.2 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's recall this uh, triangle sum theorem. The sum of the three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, in our case, sum of these angles x, 
y and z must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore let me go ahead and write down x plus angle y plus angle z must be equal to 180 degrees and in our case our x angle is 60 degrees angle y is 38.2 degrees let's go ahead and fill in the blanks i'm going to write down 60 degrees plus 38.2 degrees plus z degrees equals to 180 degrees and if we combine like terms that is going to give us 98.2 degrees plus z equals to 180 degrees and now let's go ahead and subtract 98.2 degrees from both sides this is gone so therefore our angle z is going to be approximately equal to 81.8 degrees and we use over here approximation since uh, y is approximately equal to 38.2 degrees so thus our angle z turns out to be approximately equal to 81.8 degrees and here are our angle x y and uh, z and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye